Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Monday, August the 12th, and today we remember Florence Nightingale. It's the ninth week after Pentecost, and week six in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 89, verse 1 to 18, and 2 Samuel chapter 13, verse 23 to 39. And join me now in singing the first verse of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts to the tune of Old 100. All people round the earth rejoice to God most high our sovereign King. Serve God with cheerful heart and voice. With all your tongues, God's glory sing. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, I will sing of your mercies forever. I will tell of your faithfulness to all generations. Alleluia. Psalm 89, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, I will sing of your mercies forever. I will tell of your faithfulness to all generations. For I know that your love is forever. You establish your faithfulness in the heavens. I've made a covenant with my chosen. I've sworn to David my servant. Your dynasty I will establish forever and build up your dominion to all generations. And the heavens shall praise your wonders your faithfulness in the congregation of the saints. For who in heaven can be compared to you? Who among the children of the mighty can be likened to you? You are greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints and to be held in reverence by all about. O most high God of hosts, who is like you? Your faithfulness is all around you. You rule the stormy sea, you still the raging waves. You have broken Rahab in pieces, and you have scattered your enemies. The heavens are yours, and also the earth, the world, and all that is in it, for you have founded them. The north and the south have you created, Tabor and Hermon rejoice in your name. You have a mighty arm, strong is your hand, high is your right hand. Justice and righteousness are the foundations of your throne. Mercy and truth go before you. Blessed are the people that know the joyful sound, they that walk in the light of your countenance. In your name shall they rejoice all the day, and in your righteousness they shall be exalted. For you are the glory of their strength, and by your favor our might shall be exalted. For you are our defense, the Holy One of Israel is our hope. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, I will sing of your mercies forever. I will tell of your faithfulness to all generations. Alleluia. A reading from the second book of Samuel, chapter 13, beginning at verse 23. Absalom avenges the violation of his sister. After two full years, Absalom had sheep shearers at Baal Hazor, which is near Ephraim. And Absalom invited all the king's sons. Absalom came to the king and said, Your servant has sheep shearers. Will the king and his servants please go with your servant? But the king said to Absalom, No, my son. Let us not all go, or else we will burdens, be burdensome to you. He pressed him, but he would not go, but gave him his blessing. And then Absalom said, Well, if not, please let my brother Amnon go with us. The king said, Why should he go? But Absalom pressed him until he let Amnon and all the king's sons go with him. Absalom made a feast like a king's feast. And then Absalom commanded his servants, Watch when Amnon's heart is merry with wine. And when I say to you, Strike Amnon, then kill him. Do not be afraid. 
have I not myself commanded you? Be courageous and valiant. And so the servants of Absalom did to Amnon as Absalom had commanded. Then all the king's sons rose, and each mounted his mule and fled. While they were on the way, the report came to David that Absalom had killed all the king's sons, and not one of them was left. The king rose and tore his garments and lay on the ground, and all of his servants who were standing by tore their garments. But Jonadab, the son of David's brother Shemaiah, said, let not my lord suppose they have killed all the young men, the king's sons. Amnon alone is dead. And this has been determined by Absalom from the day Amnon raped his sister Tamar. Now therefore do not let my lord, the king, take it to heart, as if all the king's sons were dead, for Amnon alone is dead. But Absalom fled. And when the young men who kept watch looked up, he saw many people coming from the road by the side of the mountain. Jonadab said to the king, See, the king's sons have come, as your servant said. So it has come about. As soon as he had finished speaking, the king's sons arrived and raised their voices and wept, and the king and all of his servants also wept very bitterly. But Absalom fled and went to Tamiah, Talmai, son of Anihud, the king of Jeshur. David mourned for his son day after day. Absalom, having fled to Geshur, stayed there three years, and the heart of the king went out yearning for Absalom, for he was now consoled over the death of Amnon. Here ends the lesson. And now when the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We sing of your love, O tender God, and proclaim your faithfulness forever. May we ever walk in your holy presence and rejoice every day in your righteousness and favor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.